Hi everyone, this is a video demo for the Upcycle Clock project posted on the Element 14 website for the Upcycle It design challenge using an Intel Edison. As part of the build, I have upcycled a clock by removing the glass panels and replacing them with LED diffusion panels, or that's what I'm calling them. The panels are printed in wood filament and stained using wood finish. And I also have a strip of LEDs at the back of the clock, which act as a visual indicator when I wake up in the morning. Now, as part of the features, I have the clock read out the weather conditions, time to work, and tweets for today for a specific hashtag, as you hear now. Now, as part of the setup, I also have a couple of more panels, one of which houses the Grove LCD and the other houses two buttons and a potentiometer, which can be used to set up alarms. As you see here, I'm setting up the first alarm to ring in a couple of minutes. You Now, as part of the next feature, I am getting the weather conditions from the Open Weather Maps API. As you see here, I'm displaying the temperature and the humidity outside, as well as if you press the green button on top, it would show you the weather conditions. Today, it seems to be cloudy. And when you press the yellow button, it should give you the wind speed. As part of the next feature, I have the LCD display show me the IP address given to the Intel Edison by my Wi-Fi router at home, just in case I need to SSH in into the Edison to make some changes or implement a new feature. Now, the place that I live in has a huge traffic problem, which meant I had to implement a feature to give me the time to work using the Google Maps Distance Matrix API which shows me 40 minutes here, when ideally with no traffic, it should take me 25 minutes to get to work. The next couple of features are to control the Philips Hue light setup that I have at home. I'm mostly going to use this feature to turn off all the Philips Hue bulbs that I have set up at home before heading out to work. Now to demo this, I'm going to have to remove the camera off the tripod stand. And sorry for the shaky video well in advance. For the setup, I am using an if this then that recipe, which is called by the Intel Edison, which calls a make a web hook on the if side and the hue setup on the that side of the recipe. When you hit the green button, the light should turn on. And when you hit the yellow, the light should go off, as you see here. Sorry about that, I also had the alarm go off and I had to cut the video. Now here is demoing the panels using a potentiometer. The first one shows the weather condition which is pulled down from the Open Weather Maps API. This panel will glow blue if it's raining, yellow if it's sunny, and white if it's cloudy. As you see here, today is a cloudy day. The next panel determines my time to work and is based on the Google Maps Distance Matrix API. It turns red as you see here when there is heavy traffic and my time to work is greater than 40 minutes while the regular time it takes me to get to work is about 25. Next we have the Twitter panel which uses the Python package called Tweepy 
which is basically a wrapper for the Twitter API. This basically turns blue if we have more than five tweets for a specific hashtag. Next, we have Gmail, which turns red if you have more than 100 emails in your inbox. The next panel corresponds to the temperature and air quality sensor, which are connected to the Intel Edison tucked away at the back of the clock. Here you see it turn green, which means that the temperature is less than 22 degrees centigrade and the gas sensor value is below the threshold. Now at the back of the clock, I have another piece of LED strip taped to the rim which can be used as another visual indicator for another feature. For now, as part of the demo, I'm just cycling through various colors, as you see here. As part of the final setup, I plan to have the program run automatically from 6.30 to 8.30 in the morning for a 20 minute interval. Thanks for watching and for more info, check out the blog post on the Element 14 community website.